Hey guys, I think it's going better. Uh, well, it's going better. I'm sorry, I'm reading why I wrote. I think it's live now, so let's see. I think we're just waiting for... I have no idea. I don't know if it's like a video or if it's going to be an actual live stream that they're doing or something like that, but uh, we'll see. If you guys can see me, please let me know in chat. Uh, throw your questions or uh, speculations or whatever you want in there. I'm reading them. And I don't know if Kate's on here, but if she is, she'll let me know. How's the volume? Can you guys hear me just fine or not? Can you guys hear the actual stream? Because it's like really low music right now. It's very low. <gasps> you can't hear me or you can? How you guys doing? Oh, Kate's here. Say hi to Kate, everyone. Oh, yeah. As a heads up, guys, we are um, expanding the channel towards PlayStation and Xbox uh, starting next year, probably in the holiday of this year, but it's just, it's a lot of stuff. Is the volume low? Is the volume high? Here, I can put it up on my end here. Can you guys hear my voice? How do I sound? Can you hear me? Oh, yeah, one ear. Let me see. Let me fix that. I think I have to go mono. Mono, manana, manana, mono, manano. Hold on, let me see. Down mix to mono. Okay, how's that? Better? Better? <gasps> oh, yeah. I have it on ultra low latency. Latency is ultra low. All right. Uh, can you guys hear the background with uh, whatever this is that PlayStation is, um, is choosing to play in the background here? All right. Good, 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 good. Sorry, I'm a little hyper. I don't know if I can expand theirs anymore. Let me see if I can. Uh, well, I mean, not expand, but increase their volume anymore. It seems that it's low on purpose. So let me see here. Oh, wait, here we go. So just to check we're live, I'm resetting the live. There we go. Okay, how's that? That should be better, right? Okay. Wait, my microphone is low? Here, I can go higher. How's that? How was that? Good? Good? Better? Worse? My volume is still low. Hmm. Okay, hold on. How about that? Better? Whoa, I, I hear myself very, very loud. Is this good? Do I sound insanely loud as I do in my ears? Because I sound very, very loud. You know what? What time is it? Pacific time. Oh, you can hear that keyboard? Mechanical. Um, is it at 1 p.m. specific time? Because that means there's an hour. Let me see. Okay, let me just check it out here. Or you guys can just tell me. I'm very loud. Okay, so let me turn myself back down. <laughs> okay, how's that? Is that better or worse? And I'm going to try not to speak a lot during the event itself. And let me check the Twitter. And let me put this on social media so people... So I can get another four people on here. Okay. All right, all right. Okay, hopefully this is fine. I think that's as loud as I want to be. Okay, hold on. Let me log into this thing and, and post that I'm, I'm doing this because I sort of didn't tell anyone except you guys who came on. If there's any issues, let me know because I have a one gig connection. Hopefully this should not be messing up. Okay, so I guess at this point we're just waiting on them to start. All right, I think we're waiting, right? Just waiting, waiting, waiting. Oh, guys, I have a soundboard. Here, look. It's Britney, bitch. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> Dude, we have to play some more black and white, too. I really, really, really want to do that. Hold on, hold on. What do I have on here? Oh, I have an applause. I have to find the link to this URL. Let me 
drag you guys over here. Okay. Just waiting on them. That's good. That means I'm on time for the first time ever. So this is the stream URL. Let me check this out. Sorry, guys. I'm just testing out a few things here. And then we'll be on our way. I don't know. I, it said 12, but I believe it's already 12 Pacific time. I don't know. If it's one, we have an hour. So we'll find out right now. Let me double check here. Yeah, it's one hour left, guys. So we're going to play some, some games while we wait. I'll, I'll have this playing on the background. I'm just testing out everything, testing out the stream and making sure that the volume's correct and uh, we can just hang out. So, um, you know what? I do have Bioshock in the background, but I don't know if that sounds normal. Let me see. Let me switch it up so you guys can see this. Can you guys see that and hear that and feel it with your heart? See, and I need to get this stream URL here, but I forget how. I'm not a streamer. I'm not that cool. Oh, yeah, dude. A new Silent Hill would be an astounding way to start this. What is it? Like this live stream. All right. Can you guys hear that, by the way? Can you guys hear the game? I should probably just move around here real quick. Let me see. Let me get out of this fiery water here. And I'll check chat right now. Hold on. Just, oh, that's Bernie. Oh! Can I cheat? Can I just go cut through here? Yeah, I can. Okay. It's about an hour. 4 p.m. Eastern until this starts. Oh, wrong way. Okay, the audio sounds a little weird on Bioshock, so let me check this out. Sorry. Okay. 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 So testing out Bioshock. This is on the Switch. Um, it looks pretty good right now. I'm not uh, the pickiest person. I'm not looking for 4K style graphics here. Okay. So we're there. Let me uh, uh, fix chat here. Okay. Let's see. I have chat back open. Um, I gotta link this out to you guys somehow. I don't know how. Why does YouTube make the interface for streaming so difficult to look through? All right, one sec. All right, let's see here. What are you guys hoping to see, by the way? Oh yeah, Kate's in the chat. She's moderating. She's keeping everything civil. And I'm seeing lag on this like live preview here. Is there any lag? Is there any drop in the quality of everything? If so, please let me know. I need to make sure that gets fixed. And let me mute a few things here. Okay. Oh, actually, let me do that. Do not disturb for two hours. Oh yeah. Um, I still don't know how to get to my live stream because I am a noob, a noob, a noobian. One second, guys. I'm going to share this and then I'm all yours. Okay, here we go. Okay, let me see what chat's going, what's going on in chat. Halo on PS5. Dude, you know what? If Microsoft is done with consoles... You're going to see their games go multi-platform. Okay, so I think I have it here. Let me copy this stream so I can let my audience of four other people on the internet know. And let me publish this one second, guys. And let me know if you guys have played Bioshock, any of the three games on the Switch. I'm curious what you guys think. All right, posting this here. One second. 
One second, guys. Uno segundo, por favor. Just posting to Twitter and Facebook and TikTok and 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 what else? Snapchat and whatever the cool kids are doing. I'm doing it all. I don't care. I'm just gonna do it. All right. One second, please. One second. Can you guys hear me when I whisper like this? I'm curious. I don't know if you can. Sharing now. Okay, that's out. I think we're good. Okay, let's see. Oh, there's a lot of chat here. Okay, okay, okay. PS4 is always the best. Guys, as a heads up, I do not have an Xbox or a PlayStation. It's a shocking thing, especially as someone who makes, like, gaming-related, I guess, content. Uh, people always ask me about it, but I do not. I've never owned an Xbox or a PlayStation. Um, as a kid, I never had that kind of money to, like, have multiple consoles. I'd rather have had a, a single console with multiple games instead of, like, three consoles and one game for each. We just didn't have that kind of money growing up. But now I'm saving up for it, so we're going to see how that goes. And as I said, um, I don't think I said it on this one. I think I wasn't live when I said that out loud. But we are going to do uh, Xbox and PlayStation content starting in the holiday of 2020 or, you know, most likely the latest uh, 2021, beginning of 2021. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, as I said, we do have the PlayStation stream in the background. We're just waiting for it to start. As soon as it does, I'll turn off El Gato and uh, we're going to start playing. So for now, let's try some Bioshock. Uh, any Bioshock fans? Ooh, Kate's uh, punishing bad chatters for 300 seconds. So be careful, guys, if you're using bad words, because you will get caught by Kate. All right, let me see. Okay. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have not played this game in probably five years now. I've played it, uh, I think, probably, what, three to four times, but incredible story. I think this this entire game should be a book in some way. I know there are books about it, but I'm, I'm talking about the full main story. Any chance you can just shout me out? It just makes me feel happy. Yes, I can, but I don't know how to say your name. Is it Adam Zane? 690? Am I saying it right? What is my favorite Telltale game? Um, Walking Dead was incredible. I think it was so heavy on the story, that, um, and that's exactly what I wanted. Let's see. PS5 will be able to run up to 120 FPS at most. Um, as a PC gamer, I love high frame rate games. Um, I have a, a 144 hertz screen, and if I ever go below that, it, it really bothers my eyes. So I'm, I'd love to see these new consoles running 4K at a high frame rate. Don't know all the details, but we'll find out soon, right? Ooh, and let me, and guys, keep me posted on the volume. If something's too loud, something's too low, I'll adjust it for you. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Do a shout out to Plain Rock 124 but your name is Dre Clark, so that's a weird one. But there's your shout out, sir. Up to this day, I still love Skyrim on the Switch. Hey, you know what? Skyrim on the Switch was the one game that really blew my mind. That's when I really understood what the Switch was all about. It was mind blowing to have such a big game on such a small console. And I love how it plays, too. So um, the PS5 event starts in about, what, 40 minutes now? 40 minutes? I don't know. Time. Infinite is the one that blows your mind. Yeah, Infinite is a game that I probably uh, I probably would not share with my audience. It's the beginning of Infinite, uh, Bioshock Infinite, by the way, is m insane. I remember watching. I was like, there's no, what's the big deal here? And then it happened. And I was just, it was shocking to watch that, that intro. Shout me out, please. I will be so happy. I love your channel, says Joseph Hasler. Is that, is that right? How much do you think the PS4 drop? What? Oh, are you talking about like PS4 drop in price? I don't know. It really depends on what the PS5 price is. 
And uh, that's really, I think, the only reason I'm watching this is to see if they mention a price. If not, oof, it's going to hurt. Walking Dead is $5 except for Season 4 on the Switch. Yeah, Walking Dead by um, Telltale Games. If you guys like narrative-driven uh, games, you have to check that one out. It's it's amazing. I love it. And I loved the Walking Dead comics, so that's probably why it goes hand in hand. So, yeah, we have a few, uh, you know, a little over half an hour left for the event to start. So we're playing some Bioshock. Oh, by the way, a little bit of blood in this one. Um, <laughs> just uh, remember, it's not real. As a PC gamer, what PC games do you highly recommend besides free ones? So listen, oh man, I have thousands of games on PC. Um, if I had to recommend one, I love team shooters. So I started off with um, Team Fortress Classic. Now I play a lot of Team Fortress, well, I used to play a lot of Team Fortress 2. And then of course that evolved into Overwatch. I'm a massive Overwatch fan, even though Blizzard and Activision is sort of, you know, they're struggling as a company. But I love what the developers have made. Um, Overwatch is just an incredible game. So I'd highly suggest Overwatch on PC. And I only say that because when you go from from a controller to, uh, you know, keyboard and all that other stuff and mouse, um, it's a little, it's much better. So that's what I've been playing a lot of. I, I still I still play a lot of World of Warcraft. Um, I just, I, there's something about doing dailies on the side while working that's very intriguing and peaceful. Okay, hold on. Let me see what else. But, uh, also, let me know if you guys have played Bio uh, Bioshock on the Switch. I'm curious to see what you guys think. This intro is really killer because it felt like a horror game, and I had no idea whether I'd be fighting something without any weapons, which some horror games have done, where you, you're facing an opponent and you have no way of defending yourself, which is very horror survival. But I remember this very clearly... And now I have no fear. Okay, let me see. JC Master 21, love your channel. Buddy, I love you, man. I love you. Is Doom a good game? Um, I love every Doom game. I don't think there's a Doom game I dislike. Doom 3 was the one that really um, got me into like survival horror at that time. Oh, hold on, there's something I gotta find here. What is it? Oh, gosh. I'm not thinking clearly right now. I hear the little bell. What? What is it? What is it? Okay, I gotta duck somehow. How do I duck on here? There it is. Is that it? Oh, look for a weapon. Hold on. You guys help me out here in chat. I can't do this alone. Oh, duh. It's <laughs> right in front of me right here. Okay, there we go. Okay. Uh, let me check back on the stream just in case so you guys can see. We're still waiting. There's music playing on the background that is from PlayStation's channel, but uh, we're just waiting. So we're going to use this wrench on a few things. Whoa! Okay, hold on. Let me see. Let me just test this. Up. Oh. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Wacky, wacky. Wacky, wacky. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, um, this is the first time I think I've played Bioshock with a controller, by the way. I'm, uh, I played it on PC, and mouse and keyboard just makes everything so much easier. And it feels a little weird to play uh, on a, a PC game that I, you know, uh, on a controller now, so... But it's fine because it's single player and I don't mind playing single player games this way. Awesome tattoo, by the way. What do you think about Hatred coming to the Nintendo Switch? Oh, Hatred is that game that was banned on on Steam, right? That opens up a whole uh, Pandora's box of what should be allowed in a game and not. I haven't played it, so I can't tell you about it. But it does say a lot about Nintendo and what they're opening up to. Um, the, the more games you can see on the Switch, the better in my opinion, so. Uh, let me see. Yeah, it's been raining here a lot. And this house, by the way, uh, as a heads up, we are moving. 
And <laughs> this this room, this office that I'm in, is extremely prone to water damage. So if it rains, the carpet underneath my feet will fill up with water. It's it's that bad right now. So we're almost 30 minutes away. I, I think, what, what 20? I, I don't know time right now. I don't know what time it is. But we're a few minutes away from this, so we're going we're gonna to play a little bit of Bioshock and then get into the PS5 event and watch me scream like a little girl on stream. You know, I really would love to make more, like, videos uh, based on PC gaming. I, I started off this channel on keyboards and mice, like, you know, gaming keyboards and mice. And after, oh, I think, what, like five or more keyboard videos, I realized that there's really not that much of a difference amongst peripherals, unless it's like new technology. So I stopped doing that. And then I, I was like, I, I wonder if people would actually care if I posted about all the accessories I buy for the Switch. And yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> we got millions of views on Switch accessories and uh, tech related to, th to the Switch. And yeah, so. Yeah, you know what? We used to build PCs. Uh, we, um, myself, I used to build PCs, but after I started doing this for work, I had a PC where the motherboard was just having an issue. And all of a sudden I couldn't work and I, I spent a day trying to fix it. And at that point, I told myself I cannot afford to build a PC unless I know if something goes wrong, I can fix it on the fly. So I ended up buying from reputable um, PC makers, custom PC makers, I guess. So that's my, my whole story there. I can't make content based on it just because no one would want to watch it. And I wouldn't watch it as well. Evan Peel, you are my favorite YouTuber. You are my favorite Evan Peel. You're the only person I know with that name, and I appreciate that. Okay, wait, I don't know what I do here. Oh, as a heads up, we do want to start doing live streams more frequently here. I just don't know if it's something that um, I'll be able to do when I go back to work. Because of COVID-19, I have been working from home. Very blessed to still have a job right now. But... Um, I want to do something, maybe on Saturday mornings or, or Sunday mornings or something. It'd be fun to just stream and hang out with you guys. We'll probably introduce games because I, I found a few sites where we can get games and that'll be fun to review and check out some stuff. Okay, so let's see. Oh, that was a bad guy. It's okay. It's okay. Wait, do I even have? Oh, yeah, I do. Okay, where is this guy? Okay, where is this guy? Where is this guy? Up. Okay, I found him. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. What? What is going on? I'm streaming. Sorry, I'm uh, zapping the guy all wrong. Okay, hold on. I gotta get used to these controllers. Why am I still doing that? Okay, so you change weapons and then you. No, I don't. Yeah, I thought I got it, but I don't. Sorry. Which con? Oh. Which console do you think will be better, Xbox or PlayStation? Um, just being being honest on what I've heard, PlayStation does really well with exclusive games, and I think at the end of the day, it, it's not the hardware, but it's it's the games, right? So it seems that PlayStation has a huge fan base behind their games, and that I think is how you win these console wars. But with time, I think we're just gonna. It's going to come down to games, and Xbox and PlayStation will just be making their games multi-platform because it makes them more money. I, that's probably, what, a long ways away? I'm not exactly sure, but that's just my view on it. And I only say that as a, as a PC gamer, where I see all these games coming to PC, even if they're exclusives at one point, or starting off with. Brandon, uh, you lost your job because of COVID. Dude, I, I hope you find something soon, brother. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, it's an extremely tough time. I, I remember I had a call for work about, you know, the state of our company. And it was extremely nerve-wracking because I honestly thought I was about to lose my job right then and there. And to be honest, things aren't better yet. So I may still lose it. You never know. So at this point, it's just one day at a time. Um, you know, I hope you find something soon because it, it's crazy. It's crazy out there right now. I have no idea how to even address that. 
Um, I didn't want to, you know, say anything as a brand, I guess, or whatever you want to call us. But um, it's it's tough out there right now. Just you can't give up. That's that's sort of the the way this works. Let me whack this lady real quick. There we go. Oh look, she had a gun. It was a baby. It was a baby gun. Probably missing so many things. Yeah, the new Xbox does look like a, a PC tower. I don't know why they went with that look. I'm guessing at this point it's just the most obvious thing you could do. But I call that out in high school. I expected these consoles to start looking more like PCs with time. I like PlayStation more than Xbox. Uh, you know what? I haven't had either. Oh, there's a little girl in there. So I'm hoping that... Um, uh, you know, I'm going to do like a, a first-timer's experience with both consoles. That being the, the, the latest gen consoles for both Xbox and PlayStation. And giving you like my perspective on both. I have, being that I'm going to buy all this, there's no bias. It's just completely um, off the cuff, I guess. My mom works from home, but me and my sister are scared that she will get fired. Dude, Alexander, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry about this. You know, this is a really difficult time for everyone. I hope your mom gets to keep her job, and if not, um, I hope she finds something better. One, I have played it since the Bioshock games are way ahead of its time. Dude, yeah, Bioshock, this game could have came out this year, and it would still blow minds. It's such an incredible, incredible story, and the gameplay is, is really, really fun. I think this is the this is the big daddy scene, right? Yeah, yeah, this is the big daddy. Okay, watch this, guys. The little sisters. Oh, what's this guy doing? Oh, there's a little girl here. Be quiet, little girl. Oh, what's that? Yeah. This scene is incredible. A little bloody. <laughs> Do I think cloud gaming will take over console? Yes. I can almost guarantee that cloud gaming will be the mainstream. And I only say that because right now the problem is hardware. Like, uh, you have to upgrade your hardware every once in a while. And the issue is that at one point you lose people because of that. In other words, um, let me stop for a second so I can get my thoughts together here. Uh, if you want to play the latest gen of games, you're going to need a PS5 or the latest Xbox or the latest you know, Nintendo console, whatever, right? But by doing so, you're going to lose people who can't either afford it or don't want to go you know, into your new, con your new hardware. So with cloud gaming, it erases hardware and it focuses on the games, right? Now it's difficult to see it right now because I think that's probably five to 10 years away from becoming anywhere close to the norm here. But think of it like this. If if it becomes a streaming situation where you're, just, you're cloud gaming, it, it's just from the cloud like that, all you need is basic hardware. Like you can use an old laptop, you can use an old tablet, et cetera, et cetera. You can use whatever, whatever control you like and just play the games you want, right? That's, it removes this massive barrier and it makes it so more people can buy games. So that's just, I think, naturally where we're gonna go. We're just not there yet. I mean, even in the States, in America here, the, the internet is garbage. Like we're at one gig, but even then, countries are beating us <laughs> by, by so much more. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, this lady took four bullets and, well, holy smokes, okay. How old am I? I believe I'm 31. Ask Kate. She knows my birthday more than I do. Uh, yeah, this scene with um, the Big Daddy was incredible. Oh, dude, I keep injecting myself. Am I am I empty? Is that why? Oh, I gotta re. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm terrible at playing and talking at the same time. I think that's what makes a good streamer: someone who can do both correctly. I hope one day your YouTube channel will become so good where you can you can live off YouTube. Just try different kind of videos. You will reach the top. Don't give up, my bro. Brandon, I love you, bud. Um, as a heads up, for those who don't know, we do have a full-time situation going. So YouTube is a hobby. That's what it has to be considered. Uh, I wish I could do this full-time. Realistically, I can't. Uh, I'm not a businessman. 
you know how most people look for ways of making this work? I, I don't know how to make it work. I just make videos and focus on the next video once one video is up and, and live. But uh, hopefully with time, you know, Kate's helping me out more so we can find a way of doing this full time and, you know, making hopefully weekly content. Sorry, I'm drunk in game. Well, the game, I'm drunk in the game. What do you think about Stadia? Guys, a little secret here. I love Stadia, but I can't say it because the internet hates Stadia. I think everyone I've seen talk about Stadia online hates it. I, I get it. They have, they've had a, a horrible launch, terrible launch, and they deserve a lot of the anger that they've gotten. But I've tested out Stadia on a one gig connection. Oh, what's going on here? I'm getting burned alive. Okay, what's going on? Uh, sorry. Uh oh. Um, so I've tested out Stadia. It's worked really, really well. Um, one thing that people don't understand is like how it works. For example, I pay ten dollars a month, and I get a lot of games for free, and the games are always over ten dollars. So in that sense, I am getting my money's worth. But um, yeah, I do. I, I I think I'm in love with Stadia, and I think I'm gonna make a video called just that. So we'll see. I have a Switch, and I feel it's the best for me because I can play with my friends. But my little brother likes PlayStation more. Yeah. Um, the thing is, Nintendo's always nailed that family-friendly vibe with games, which means you have a wider audience. But also, the pricing for their console, their consoles, has always been great. Like. If you can't afford a PlayStation 5, ugh, I keep dying. Sorry, I'm not paying attention. If you keep, um, a majority of people can afford a Switch over a PlayStation 5. And I don't even know the pricing of the PS5 yet. That's one thing that Nintendo has done really well. And that's why Microsoft and Sony don't really see them as competitors, at least not direct competitors. They can't really, ugh, dude, guys, I'm doing terrible. I can't do both things at the same time. Do I play Fortnite? Um, no, I don't. I I have it for testing purposes. Like if you guys are curious about you know how it runs on a game on the Switch or something. Um, but I used to play Fortnite. Now it's become a whole other thing, like because of the battle royale. Um, I think it's a fun game. I don't have anything against it. I know it's getting sort of love and hate from people because it's so popular. But no, I do not at this moment. I was a business kid. I would sell candy in my neighborhood. Time. Oh, dang, dude. You know what? I remember in middle school, people would sell uh, candy out of their bag for a dollar. And I was surprised how important it was to have candy in middle school. So I used to buy a lot from them. That's as close to drugs as I've ever gotten. Do you think Nintendo Switch Pro is going to come? Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they do have something probably next year, I I'd say. Or announce something by next year where it has just better hardware across the board. Because clearly, you're going to see a big surge of people going for the PS5 and the, the latest Xbox. And I think that's going to be something that Nintendo is going to... Uh, that's going to be a market that they want to target to some extent. Because people love the Switch. And it just doesn't perform anywhere near as well as the c competition. Okay, what do I do here? Am I just running out of stuff? Is that why I keep doing this? Oh, okay, let's see. Yeah, you know when you... I don't know about you guys, but there's this thing where uh, you work... You, know, you go to work, and then you drive back home, and that commute, you don't remember that commute at, at all. And that's where I'm at right now. I don't even remember playing through most of this game, or at least what we played through right now, because I'm just looking at chat and looking at the game back and forth. All right, let's see. Do you think, uh, what do you think about T-Mobile? Like the, the phone company? I don't know if something happened with them, but they're fine. We use Google Fi. <laughs> I think the PS5 will be $500 USD. I think that is the golden number for PlayStation. If you could somehow stay to $500, I don't know if they're doing multiple versions of their console, like a pro version and like a normal version. I hope they don't, because I think there's just like... Uh, it sort of breaks apart your your audience there, and um, so I, I'd hope to see just one pricing model for one type of console, and then they'll release updates of the consoles. But dude, five hundred dollars would be extremely killer because even if you had to get a PC, 
at a, uh, that performs as well, $500 is just like at the bottom of that list. Can you start uploading daily? Dude, I wish I could upload daily. As a heads up, we have like probably 20 videos on our to-do list and we never can get to them. Not because we don't want to, it's just that there's so much work that goes into our videos. I, I refuse to put out a video where I'm just like, turn on the camera and talk and whatever you say goes. I suck at that, I'm, I'm horrible at that. I'm a perfectionist and uh, in a negative way. And that leads to these delays where our videos take a long time. So I apologize for that. I do want to do daily content. Like I said, Kate is helping me with the videos now and like in, you know, production. Uh, so hopefully that can happen soon. But dude, I would love to have um, the ability to do daily videos. Okay, let me see. Can you start doing budget tech for like Switch or? Yeah, actually one of the series we're releasing soon is gonna be a budget series where we talk about like either it's gonna be one or two things. One, it's gonna be like um, fifty dollars, like a fifty dollar budget video where everything in that video is is under fifty dollars, or it's gonna be something like where every item in there is under a specific amount, right? I don't know what works best yet, but we're gonna try it out soon. What's going on? I'm lost here. Am I supposed to go here? Oh, okay, hold on. Gotta hack this thing, right? Okay, hold on, hold on. Holy smokes, I have not done this for a long time. Okay, yeah, 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 and then do this one. Hold on, guys, let me hack this thing here. Uh, let me see about that in here. I think, am I doing this right? Let's see. Is that right? Yeah, there we go. Okay. They will make a pro because you know Sony will want to get money any way they can. Yeah, uh, that's, I think, the, one of the easiest ways for, um, if you have a console, the easiest way to make money is by <laughs> upgrading or slightly changing a console for people to upgrade to. Uh, can you make more Nintendo Switch things? Yes. Are they making Bioshock 3? Bioshock 3? I don't know if they consider Infinite Bioshock 3. I, I believe so, right? Because it's a part of this, this series here. I mean, this... Um, the collection hold on let me see where i'm at here we're a few minutes away by the way i think it's 15 minutes away uh i wish you could do youtube full time but we understand thank you guys so much uh, you know that's one of the most difficult things is is having to explain that we can't make videos every all you know as often as i'd like there's moments when i'm like hey i'm gonna spend the whole day and make a video today and then all of a sudden i have to work the entire day so that's out the window. It happens a lot, and it really sucks. Because I'm like, oh, I'm going to plan a video release for Friday. And then all of a sudden, I have a lot of work, and I have to finish the work. Because if I don't, you know, I have a family support. So that's a, a whole other thing. Okay, let me see. Yeah, you know what? We did the pack series as just to test things out. And a lot of people have responded to it in a positive way, which... I was surprised by because I didn't know if people would like to see what we have packed in bags. This is Bioshock 1. This is probably, what, like 15, 20 minutes into it? I don't really even know what I'm doing. I hope I'm doing something right. Oh. Let me see. Oh, 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 oh. Hmm, crazy lady. Crazy lady on the floor. Oh, thank you guys so much. There's a lot of support in chat. I appreciate you guys. Um, when it comes to, like, at least the YouTube side of things, we try to spend a lot of time on the details as much as we can without going overboard, if that makes any sense. So that means, like, you know, hey, look, this, this VO is very boring. We should do some B-rolls explaining what's going on in the VO. Little details like that. They delay videos, but... It makes things look really good. I mean, you know, I mean, in comparison to just having me talking over something. Okay, uh, let me see, let me see. What time is it? So 15-ish minutes. Okay, let me see. Are they going to announce it now? Not yet. We have 15 minutes until the PS5 uh, event starts. How do you make money out of YouTube? So there's a ton of ways to make money off of YouTube. There's some very generic ways, but the most common, of course, is through AdSense. 
That means like uh, once you, I don't know what the criteria is now, but once you have enough, I think viewers and views and all this stuff, you're into, you get into the YouTube program um, AdSense and you can start making money off of your views. Now, of course, um, if you don't make videos all the time, or if you make videos all the time, you get no views, you're not gonna make that much money. But um, we make just enough to support the channel. Like as in buying all the stuff you see on there because it gets really expensive. And hold on, let me kill this lady real quick. Oh, and let me kill this guy too. It's a weird sound coming from this game. Oh boy. Okay. But yeah, so the the main way we make money is through AdSense. There, you can make money through sponsors, but it's I don't want to work with sponsors that have products that I haven't used or they're from shady companies or they're from something I have no experience with. It feels weird to say, hey, this company that I've never used has sponsored us. And, you know, I should probably do it, I guess, because some people do that a lot. So I don't know. I, But that's another way. So AdSense, sponsorships, and you can also, you know, sell your own stuff like merch and eBooks, which as a heads up, we're going to be working on merch next. It's just, it takes a lot of time and I don't, have that much time sadly okay let me see do you believe that there will be a nintendo switch 2 i don't know if they would do a sequel i think like the switch can last a f like probably eight years to be honest if they can just upgrade the hardware slightly i i think it's gonna it's it's an astounding console there's just it's so the original switch not the light um it's so versatile it's such a fun console so I'd love to see um, I'd love to see them focus on getting the UI fixed up. Can I fix? That? There we go. Fixing up the UI because the UI is just terrible in my opinion. It's really suffering right now with people expanding their libraries and the eShop is horrible, horrible. I try to buy games. It took me like an hour to get to the right game and and you know discovery is a huge problem. So if you're a developer pushing your game through the Switch. Unless it's a popular game, I don't know how you're going to do it. Um, what was I saying? So, yeah, I'd love to see them clean up the Switch. Continue to probably um, upgrade it with chips or something. Sorry. I'm like, oh, got the booty shot. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know if we'll see it too. But um, I think they have something really golden here. Do you put a slight fast forward on your voice in the videos? No, I don't. Um... In the end of the video, you know how it has like the outro video where, where it's like me saying, oh, thanks so much for watching. That is me sped up, yes, because I need to fit it within 20 seconds. And plus, no one really listens to that, it's sort of generic. But if you're like a first timer, I don't know why I didn't shot this robot like that. Anyways, um, if you're a first timer listening to it, that's just, you know, stuff you wanna, want to know, so. I feel like you talk really fast while you're talking on the videos. Oh yeah, so I do speak faster than I would normally when recording VO for videos. Because for example, we write a full script that I think says everything I want to say without wasting your time. And I speak fast because I feel like if I spoke as I would one-on-one, -on -one, it'd be way too slow. And most people don't have that kind of patience. I don't blame them. So I do speak quickly. I try to get things out as quickly as possible at a decent pace without, you know, sounding too fast. But um, if it does sound too fast, let me know and I, I will slow it down. Uh, let me see. The elbow touch. Did I touch my elbow? I don't know what's going on. It would last 10 years at launch. Did they say that the Switch would last 10 years? I, I sort of forgot. And let me check on the PlayStation event real quick, guys. Yeah, we're still waiting. Music in the background. I said it would last 10 years. Look, I wouldn't be surprised if the Switch could last 10 years, only because it comes down to games, right? So. Oh, Dean Jackson throwing some 99 cents Canadian. Dean Jackson, thank you so much. You guys don't have to donate, but if you do, I appreciate it. And just please know, any money this channel makes goes back into the channel. That means that with time, if we do make enough money, we'll probably hire an editor or someone to help us out or, you know, something to make what you watch happen more frequently. Let's say it that way. Thank you so much, Dean Jackson. Appreciate you. 
Um, I don't know how donating works on here. I, I have not spent enough time with um, with YouTube's donation system to know. I apologize. I should probably do more of that or research that. They said it last. Hour. Okay. Are you going to make a VR pact? Oh, actually, you know what? We are going to get into VR. I think I'm going to go into VR when the Oculus, the next version of the Quest comes out. Because I am a big, I love VR, but I don't think the majority of people will, will get into VR because it just takes so much power. Like, you need a really powerful machine to run VR in a satisfactory way. In other words, do you really want to use VR with a system that can barely handle it? And... Um, so I think the way around that is with what Oculus or Facebook or whatever you want to call them has done with with um, VR. Uh, Oculus is just um, Oculus's Quest is the answer to that, which is just a standalone system that yes, the graphics aren't as good, but um, you don't have to worry about connecting it to a computer. You don't have to worry about having a computer. You can just play the games that are you know on their store, well you know compatible with the Quest. So we will get into it. Once I get, once they release the next version of the quest, it might be a while. I don't know when that's coming out, but I will do that. And once we do, we'll do a series of videos on like VR related stuff. Because like I said, uh, VR right now is too expensive. So we'll see where it goes. What do you guys think of the Pepsi phone? That's a thing? Pepsi has a phone? Is that real? I don't know. Let me look, hold on. The Pepsi phone. Kate loves Pepsi. She hates Coke. Hold on. What is this? Pepsi phone. Dude, this is a thing? There's Android Pepsi phones? $100? Oh, crap. Hold on. I'm dying. Hold on. No! Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh. Wait, is this guy a boss? I don't know. Sorry, guys. Hold on. I'll get back to the Pepsi phone. Oh, yeah, you know, I'm playing this game terribly right now. I'm not paying attention to anything. Um, I didn't know there was a Pepsi phone. I don't know if that's a real thing, is it? If so, I mean, I um, we're um, we're Android users. We normally use Pixel phones because it's it's the the latest and greatest of Android. We've I don't think I've ever had it. No, I've never had an iPhone. I think Kate has, but Pepsi. You know what? That might be a great gift for Kate's birthday. So I'll look into that. Okay, hold on. I think this guy's a boss, right? Oh! Okay, I think it's like a little under 10 minutes right now, guys. Okay, hold on. Don't move, guy. Okay, hold on, guy. Oh, dang it. Gotta whack him. Okay, hold on. The Escobar phone. The biggest scam I've ever seen on YouTube. PS5 is thick. I can't wait to see the body on that PS5. And it's only in China, the Pepsi phone? I didn't know that. Okay. Okay, wait, hold on. Oh, wait, is this the boss? Oh, I'm just whacking people, guys. I can't really play and talk at the same time. I'm horrible at it. What is going on? Oh, hold on. Can't aim on a, on a controller. What's your favorite Switch light case? Actually, we're making a, a video right now. I'm going to record the VO after this event about our five favorite Switch Lite accessories. Um, my favorite case, like protective case for the Switch Lite is, do I have it here? Yeah, I have it here, guys. Of course I do. Come on, I'm a Nintendo Switch accessories channel. So the flip cover, it's awesome. It just flips open. This carrying case is awesome. I mean, it's, it's a protective case. Uh, I love that case. And as for a, a carrying case to put it inside with some accessories, Tom Talk is our favorite for the Switch Lite right now. Okay, seven minutes. What game is this one? This is Bioshock 1. There's a KFC phone? Do, you, do they give you, like, discounts on something? Like, I, I'd go for a KFC phone if it gave you, like, a lifetime discount as long as you showed the phone before you made a KFC purchase. Do you think my goldfish can play Fortnite? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it can if it has hands. But that's a whole other thing. So we're like five minutes away. I wanted to just put... Let me, let's me let check how it looks. Let's see how the stream looks. 
I think it's just going to be that that same. Yeah, it's that same. The same triangle circle x square. So let's just play a little bit more. And um, I still don't know what I'm doing right now. I, I, I've played through this game before, but I just don't remember anything now. Okay, let me see. iPhone or Samsung or Coke or Pepsi. If we had to choose one. You know what? I wouldn't go with Coke or Pepsi because they're consumables, so you'd run out. I'd probably go with Samsung, and I only say that because I just I, I don't I don't use iPhones at all, so I don't know what goes. That's a whole. It'd be a nightmare to start that whole thing. Like if you guys are on iPhones and you had to switch to Android, it's a pain in the butt. Hi, I'm Christian from your stream, and I make YouTube videos from your inspiration. Hey, Chris, thanks so much, bud. Um, so what do you mean? You make uh, YouTube videos about what, like Nintendo stuff, or let us know in the chat. You know what? I've died so many times now. I don't even know what I have. I should really look into my inventory here. Do I have weapons at all to fight this stuff? Where am I going? These are life questions. Life questions. Am I going the right way? No, I'm not, because there's a huge arrowhead that's telling me I'm not. We're a few minutes away. Three minutes away, I think, right? Is that right? Someone tell me. I don't math anymore. That was back then. I think it's on the right here, right? Yeah, it's over here somewhere. Where are you taking me, Arrowhead? I've switched from iPhone to Android. How was that? I, I know it's a pain to, to change ecosystems these days. They've made it that way on purpose. Wait, what's going on here? Where does this want me to go? I don't think I have enough time to fix this. I mean, to, to get through this game. Okay, I think down here, right? Any of you get motion sickness? Because I feel like my wife, Kate, uh, she might be going through some right now by watching me play this. <sighs> I'm on my gaming laptop and on my phone. Support squad. Oh, thank you so much, bud. I appreciate that, man. You guys be would be surprised how much liking, commenting, all that kind of interaction does with a small channel like ours. Um, and we appreciate it. And we try to get back to as many comments as possible. It's just difficult. Oh, wait. Is that it? What's this? A few minutes. We're going to switch off to the stream right now and just wait in a little bit and uh, hype it up. Hype it up. And like I said at the beginning of the stream, I have never owned... Oh, wait. Hold on. I have never owned a PlayStation or Xbox console. This is the beginning of something very big for us. And the reason for that is because we didn't have that kind of money growing up. Okay. There's thunder outside your house. Hmm. I think it stopped raining here. It was raining all morning, which I was afraid of because uh, I did not want the stream to stop. Simply due to rain and the lights going out. Okay, a few more minutes. Let's give it one more minute here and then we'll switch off. I don't know what I need to do here. Or do I? Special ammo, okay. Yeah. Okay, let's test this out. I have one minute here. I lent my red Joy-Con onto a kid, then broke then he broke it and started crying because he thought I hated him. <laughs> yeah, that's I've always had this thing where I was as a kid terrified of lending anything to anyone. Because as I said, we didn't have a lot of money, so if we had something, that was it. If it broke there was no insurance. There was no getting another one until either a birthday or, uh, you know, Christmas. So, yeah, I, I hated lending things out. And I hated sounding like, uh, you know, I, I was a bad friend, too. I don't know where to go, guys. Okay, let me see. Okay, okay, hold on. Okay, guys, you know what? I'm going to pause this and I'm going to go into the stream and we'll just talk while we wait. Okay. All right. It says right there, stay tuned. Is it starting now? No, it's not. Okay, we'll wait. Let's chat it up. Where are you guys at? Because it's sunny here. We are in Florida. Where are you guys from? Let us know in the co well, in the comments, in the chat. How are you, Sergio? It says Omar. I'm okay, dude. I'm pretty hyped up right now because I have no idea what they're going to announce. I'm guessing it's going to probably be uh, the, the, the way the console looks, some exclusive games, and I'm hoping the price because that'd be huge. So um, pretty hyped about that. 
Can you do a review on the game, sir? Wait, is the game, sir? The, the game, sir, Z1? Is that the keyboard? Because as a heads up, we do have the game, sir, keyboard for the Switch, which we're going to do a full review on because that thing is insane. If you play any first-person shooter with that keyboard and mouse, you have a massive advantage. And I know some people hate that, so uh, stay tuned for that because that is an awesome peripheral that we're going to check out on the channel. Uh, David M, dude, always coming in. $25 donation. Thank you so much, bud. You you keep us going, man. You guys all are astounding. Thank you so much for being on the stream with us. Holy smokes, dude. We're gonna, That's an accessory. That's an accessory, bro. You just got us an accessory. <laughs> uh, let's see. Arizona. Dude, Arizona. It's hot over there. Yes, we are going to buy the PS5. Um, we're using this channel as an excuse to dive into it. And um, we're going to see if we can play with you guys as we... We're going to do like the... What's it called? YouTube. The, you know, the join button. The What is it? Not sponsorships. Uh, you guys help me out. But you know what I mean. So you guys can join the channel. And we're going to have access to Discord. And we can play games together. And hopefully that will help the channel expand. So we can do this full time. Or closer to it. Big thumbs up from India. Dude, we love your spices. I love Indian food as well. And I want to go to India. It should start right now. Yeah, we're one minute late here. Waiting on them. Uh, Osmar, is that, did I say that right? You have us as a friend on Switch? Yeah, we're going to be dropping our friend code on there so we can play games together hopefully soon. I have a pro controller so I can still play Animal Crossing. Dude. Are you guys still playing Animal Crossing, by the way? I've stopped only because I was so overwhelmed and it felt like real life at this point. <gasps> Is it starting? Okay, here we go, guys. I think we're going to start off with gameplay. I'm, I'll be quiet. Who do you want to collab with one day? Dude Perfect or Team Edge? Hmm, probably Dude Perfect because I'd be terrible at it. Okay, hold on, guys. Let's, let's look. It's just some fancy, fancy 3D graphics. Trinidad, dude, I want to go to Trinidad. I'm starving right now. I would love some, some food from any country at this point. Hello from Germany, Tate. Thank you so much for joining us. Jose from Mexico. Hey, bud, how you doing? ASMR, I don't know if I can do ASMR with this, this broadcast headset. Maybe I can if I talk like this. Saliva in my voice. Hello from Texas. Upmarket Toast. Thanks for joining us, bud. Okay, so this is the longest intro, but let's see. They're trying to extend it to hype it up. Ooh, here we go. Classic Sony. Can you guys hear that? I put the volume up right now. Showcase. Jordan from Hollywood, Florida. How you doing, bud? Hello from the distant land known as Ohio. Ohio, Ohio. Jamie from the Netherlands. Ooh, nice. I have to visit. Previously on Sony. Together, we were destined for something great. So it says PS4 up there. Yeah, okay. It's a good library of games, yes. No majority. Why did I move played. here? I guess it was GTA. the weather. Or the nah, I don't know, that thing. That oh, magic. This is big. I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You sounded more and more like a snee eye yes every day. My job, my score, get your own! Studio from Quebec, Studio Pineapple. Work. How you doing, bud? Osmar from what? Palm? Palmdale? Uh, why do I not know how to say that? We all 
thanks. Get me a DJ. Give me a hand with these bodies. This headset is, um, I don't know, it's a broadcasting one. It saves us a lot of time on setup. Campaign, anyone. So I'm curious if they're going to just show games from the PS4 that are compatible with the PS5 or what's going on. Ooh, we got a London boy. How you doing, baby? Video gaming fan. Appreciate you coming in. Well, I got my, my came from a box shirt. I got to show that off so people know. So you guys know. Okay, so here we go. That's awesome. Oh, smokes. I don't, I, I've not played the um, GTA since what? Since the first one. So that's good. I do have PlayStation Plus as a heads up. I don't know <laughs> why. I don't have a PlayStation console. I, I gotta start buying some games, I guess that's why. Video gaming fun. Thank you so much. Appreciate you, bud. Okay, here we go. More fancy graphics. It was great to kick today off. It's to look Gordon Ramsay. Seminal moments of the last 25 years. And what better way to bridge our past and our future than with a game that's graced every PlayStation console, Grand Theft Auto. It's been a privilege partnering with Rockstar Games for many years now. And we're thrilled to open today with the news that that partnership will continue with PlayStation 5. It's the now latest just GTA. over a year since we began sharing technical details of PlayStation 5. But today's the day that we've been looking forward to for years, when we get to show you just some of the games that demonstrate our belief that PlayStation 5 mocks the biggest generational transition our industry has yet seen. The content we've curated for today's event showcases Come on, how Gordon. PS5 has inspired developers to create new experiences that are transformative. <sighs> and how know, I, look, I get it. It's generic kind of stuff. Like Enough this is me. the best version of We're the, PS, have the, games the PlayStation. PlayStation. Come on, come on. I'm a little impatient, sorry. And I can put the volume up. Can I? I don't know. I don't know if I can. Does that sound good? Can you guys hear that? A hero is just someone who doesn't give up. Spider-Man? The latest Spider-Man. Your dad said that. He was right. Now it's your turn. Go be a hero, Miles. Miles! Oh, dude, okay. I love -Man. Let's do this. Oh, dude, this looks so good. Cinematic, so I'm guessing, right? Take it. I'll take it. Yeah, I have not played uh, the last Spider-Man game on the PlayStation. If there's one thing that Sony did good by still holding on to the the Spider-Man what license is. えっと、今日は皆さんに僕らが作っているあの、GT has always been one of those games that if you want to show us like the best looking graphics, you got to go and show us what what GT uh, has done. Does that make sense? I'm sorry, I'm a little lost right now. But um in other words, GT has always looked astounding for a console. It's no different this time, I guess.
your Uncle Joe throwing the $2 euro with what's up. What's up, Uncle Joe? Thank you so much for the $2 euro. Appreciate you. Thank you so much for tuning in with us, by the way. It means a lot. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. How long is the live stream? I don't know. I think it might be what? 30 minutes if it's 30, 30 minutes to an hour, let's say. Is that loud enough for you guys? Gran Turismo 7. How's the online gonna work here? I've always wanted to do like a driving setup with like a wheel and like the pedals and everything. Because I feel like just using the controller is not the same in these games. My other problem is that whenever I think racing, I think Mario Kart, so this doesn't seem as fun as Mario Kart. Clearly, it's a reality thing. Oh, yeah, you know what, Chris? Real Chris? I completely forgot, but I do have a Vita. I bought a Vita last year, a holiday of last year, because uh, of the PS5. So I wanted to start making content related to the handheld or whatever. But, um, yeah, so I was wrong. Okay, so, so far we've got GTA, not a new GTA, GTA 5, I believe, right? Uh, GTI, uh, GTA will be free with the PS5. We got um, Spider-Man Miles Morales, which is uh, going to be incredible, I'm sure. And then we got GTA, oh, GT7. And what's this? What, Spy is Spyro? Yes, PlayStation. I can't remember. I don't know. I don't know what this is. Oh no, dude! It's Jack. You all right Jack? back there? And, no, I can't. No Ratchet and Clank. Sorry, I've never played it, so I don't know. It appears that the dimensions Looks are collapsing on one another. Gorgeous, though. If we cannot get look to, at the fur on his ears. Get to right the ship. I mean, we can't be that far. I have it in my sights. They have found us, Ratchet. <laughs> <laughs> How do I steer this thing? Ask nicely. Slow down, please. That's not listening. Man, it's crazy because this does look like a cinematic, but it it's game the dimensions has are weakening considerably. The colors. How bad is it? Well, it is certainly not good. Ratchet always gave me this kind of Sonic vibe. Yeah. Like he's like what I want Sonic to continue it's to be. Me. Video gaming fan, I hope you're beautiful family as well. Yes, they are. Thank God for that. It's a crazy time right now, but we're all doing well. Thank you so much. If Persona 4 really comes to PC, will you get it? Yeah, I, I have to play Ratchet. that game. I, I'm behind we on Persona. Too late. Ratchet? I had never played them either, and I got that one for the PS4, and it is Who? a Are you talking about Ratchet and Clank? Because of so. Ooh! Ratchet Lady! Watch out! Ratchet Lady! Ratchet Lady incoming. Um, if you're talking about Ratchet and Clank, I, I have. I've, I've Hi, I'm Marcus Smith, creative director at Insomniac Games. The entire studio is so excited to be able to share with you a first ever look at Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, a brand new, full length, interdimensional adventure built from the ground up for the PlayStation Isn't 5. There a Ratchet We're and doing Clank things movie? we've never been able to do before, like use dimensional rifts to be able to leap from planet to planet nearly there instantly, is. I'm pretty or sure, right? put ray trace reflections on Clank. All of our alien worlds are filled with density and life previously unseen. Yes, Plus, Ratchet's all new arsenal is more exciting than ever thanks to the DualSense controller's enhanced feedback. 
Ratchet and Clank are near and dear to our hearts at Insomniac, and we can't wait to share more with you in the future. But for now, here's another look. Yeah, you know what? We have to see some Crash Bandicoot. If we're seeing Ratchet. Did you see Video that? Video gaming fan, glad your family's doing well, bud. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the new Spider-Man, of course, is going to be on the PS5. Oh, but I mean, sorry, it, it may release for the PS4. I'm sure because it's money for them to make, right? Sand shots from above. Nice sand shark. Nice sand shark. My heroes. Wow, this looks so good. Just like the reflective oh, surfaces give you so much insight as to what's going on. I will never get used to that. Hey, to break reality. Don't let him get to the boss! Did Duncan the various really resurface after all these years? Just the gameplay looks really, really fun. I, I've never played, played any of their games, yeah. but... I kind of wish he was doing a worse job! Oh, he's on the uh, that weapon land, then... That's what I'm afraid of. It's like of. Halo. It looks like Halo for some reason. I cannot wait to try this game out, yo. This is my first in the series. Ooh, that looks awesome. I love that game. What is Dimension or something? Wow, that looks awesome. Look at just all these particles. There's no multiplayer in this, right? Like, if this was co op, I would love to play a game with this co op. Look. It looks good. That looks good. Oh, that's going to be fun. If you guys have played Ratchet & Clank, let us know what you think. I've never played their games. They always look like a fun platformer. Video Gaming fa Fan has been subscribed for two years. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate, appreciate the support. It means so much to us. Someone... Tell us what's coming up next. Oh, wait, Square Enix. What is it? Fi Final Fantasy something? Can't think. No, I don't know what the Luminous Productions thing is. No, I don't know what this is. Oh, I should know by now. What is it? Is it new? It looks new. Pretty. What is that? Just, just a teaser? Well, without a doubt, everything looks very, very pretty. And um, they're probably going to sell you on that because of the price reveal at the end. I'm telling you right now, the price reveal, it doesn't matter how pretty the games look if the price is not right. Especially during such a hard and difficult time. Oh man, just like these backgrounds alone look so intense. Studio Ghibli level of detail in these little backgrounds. Hey, Guillermo. What is this? A cat game? It's a cat game, isn't it? I don't want 
want to see seven hundred dollars. Seven hundred is like my my dude. I have a family to support, Bryce. <laughs> it is a cat game. What is it? Exploration, adventure. Do you actually do anything? Narrative. Twenty twenty one. Just teasers right now. I'm sure that's uh, there's gonna be a, a good chunk of teasers. Real Chris, we are doing a Bluetooth adapter video, but we're going to include one in, uh, in the next video. You know, I converted all my Blu-rays to digital now. Do you guys still use Blu-rays? I used to love, love Blu-rays, but now it's 4K and I don't want to upgrade. Ray tracing. Oh, and you know what? I actually like the controller. It's very Star trek -y. I just need to know the materials. Like, is the black rubber and is the white just like plastic? Is it all textured? USB-C. Do they have like the touch in the back? Is that, the, what is it? Oh crap, I'm hiding it myself. 3DA. Covered it, guys. Let me see if I can move it. I can't. I have a bunch of v <laughs> VHS, says Castillo. <laughs> I don't think VHS is on the list of supported. Making games media. used to be about these constant trade offs between the artistic vision and technical limitations. With PS5, we're not going to be burdened like that. We're going to be able to realize our artistic vision a lot better. It's got a ton of horsepower, which is very easy to unlock, and it's a, a machine that's really easy to develop on. The PS5 will present a paradigm shift as to what players will come to expect from gaming. Will let us tell stories, make worlds, Th this create kind gameplay of is that so I generic. think will truly captivate like, the player and wrong, really surprise quite a few people. Every Please take release. a look at this new franchise for World War Studios I don't coming really care exclusively about, like, the, for PlayStation 5. How powerful it is. I just really want to see unique and worthwhile games. Because, duh, of course they're gonna upgrade the hardware. That's why you're gonna spend, uh, a, what, half of a thousand dollars on it, minimum. Over and over, I relive my first moments on this alien planet. Oh, is this the, the, another alien game? The crash. Attack. My death. The crash. The attack. My death. Trapped in this endless cycle. Even death. It's like that movie I forgot. Escape. Each time I awake. This planet seems somehow different, as if changing. Looks very pretty. This world is becoming part of me, infecting my mind, my memories. The longer I spend here, the more I can feel my sanity slip away. What is this? But I cannot lose hope. Horror? Is it horror? It looks horrorish. My only choice is to keep fighting. To keep looking for answers. My only hope is to break the cycle. Before the cycle breaks me. I like the idea of playing with like the death mechanic. So like your deaths actually do something to the game or change something about it. But I, uh, it's new IP too, right? Minecraft at 120 frames per second. With ray tracing, I don't know if it can. Groundhog day in space. Yeah, I agree, Jordan. That's exactly what it is. And yeah, it does remind me of a movie. Everything so far has like a movie vibe to it. I don't know what this is, but I should. Should I? 
Tony the Tiger? No, no, it's a mascot. Basketball? No, it's not. No, it's a sports mascot. Oh, uh, Little Big Planet, yes. Play with your sack, boy. How do you guys feel about the Little Big Planet or Sack Boy? It always seemed like a, a decent platformer with customization, of course. I, just, I never really got into the vibe of it. I mean, this one doesn't look that graphically intense, does it? It just, I, it feels very similar to the, the look of the other one, the, the last one. Not saying it looks bad though. It looks great. doesn't look that good in that gameplay. He looks great here, but in the gameplay, he just looks like he has like a flat texture on him. Sack Boy just sounds a little weird, though. I like the little big planet. Uh, didn't they tease this one? It's like a team, a team player, uh, like a team game. I forgot what it was. Ooh, that looks pretty though. Oh, uh, it's like a Rocket League wannabe. It's like monster trucks with no monsters. What? It looks fun. Oh, wow. This looks fun. I just love this kind of like happy-go-lucky vibe and there's people running around the track trying to avoid, you know, the vehicles from slamming into their bodies. <laughs> they have like massive knives in front of the... massive blades in front of the cars just to run into people. I wonder what the rating is. All right, let's see. I wonder if they're going to save the best for last. I mean, they have to, right? That's how they sell it. Hello, everyone. My name is Josh Greer, and this is my brother, Mike. We're from Ember Lab, a small team with a background in film and animation. And we're very excited today to share with you the first look at our new game. It's a story full of adventure and charm that has themes in personal growth and redemption. So please enjoy. Mm. an indie doesn't look anything like <laughs> like an indie looks like a dreamworks movie i know you are kind you sense the power that flows through this land uh, did they tease this you, or is this new you I feel do like not fully understand this. it <laughs> wow that was beautiful Driven by the belief that, that really you can great. help these troubled spirits. 
saw that focus, the defocus there. But you cannot hide your weakness from me. Oh, wow, this looks gorgeous. This is all cinematic, though, right? You have no power here. Kena. Studio Pineapple Angry Birds 4. <laughs> Wow, this looks like gameplay. Oh, wow, this is a pretty, pretty game. Breath of the Wild 2 ripoff? A little bit, right? Wow, this looks gorgeous. I'll tell you right now, you're not gonna get this on the Switch. Pretty. I don't even know if I'll end up playing most of these games. They just I feel like it's gonna probably launch with a good That's one thing I think like PlayStation has learned from their history is that you gotta launch with games. And if they don't, well that's problematic. Ooh. 2D. You ever feel like you're just waiting for a sign? To do that thing you've always meant to do. Oh, we got the furries. Sometimes I feel Is like I'm just standing on the edge dinosaurs? of doing great things. But something's holding me back. Maybe it's just nerves. Maybe it's the fear that I'll never be as good as what I imagine when I'm still just standing on the edge. But if we've got nothing else to lose, what might is as well this? jump. the problem with teasers is that you have no idea what to expect what was that? that clearly I'm guessing it's like a narrative kind of driven title or something I don't know there was no gameplay at all right hi I'm Lorne Lanning and I'm here to share with you a game that I've been dying to make it's an emotionally engaging story where rescuing is rewarding failure is devastatingly hilarious and the memories should last you a lifetime take a look this is odd world so I, heard, I read Oddworld down there. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hey, is it Oddworld, though? Yes. You are no longer a slave, Abe. Please be a new game, not a remaster. They believed, trusted, followed, and it led them here. You may have escaped the murderous blades. But the fate of your entire people is up to you. Man, it looks so good. This is one of the most creative looking games I've ever seen. The Odd World series. I think they need to have an entire documentary on just behind the scenes of this game. Well, the series. John Carter on track. <laughs> Oh, damn, he's gonna cut the cords on his mouth. 
They look like Rango. Yeah, you know what, though? I think Rango looks like them, though. Because Rango's old school. PlayStation 5 によって我々の考える東京のビジュアルを実現できました。今までに見たことのない東京の魅力を見て、聞いて、感じることができます。これからお見せするのは、ゴーストワイヤー東京の世界初のゲーム動画です。スーパーナチュラルでミステリアスな東京、そこに潜む脅威と美しさを感じ取っていただけると思います。ぜひお楽しみください。I don't speak anime. <laughs> Tokyo, Japan. What is this? Did he say? I missed it. Did I miss it? Oh, by the way, I want to see some you VR. See things others can't. Is this Silent Hill? Are we going to see Silent Hill? Hear threats, others don't. It's gonna be a horror game, though, right? Supernatural. Fight when others psychological. Won't. It's up to you to save Tokyo. Wait, was that? Oh, no, it is. It's Slender Man, right? That's. It has to be. Is this a Slenderman game? Slenderman? Slenderman? That's a slender man in a suit. Am I wrong here? Slenderman. A slenderman. That's what that is. Slenderman is coming to Tokyo. This looks pretty. Dude, that's Slender Man Tokyo. That's Slender Man. Ghostwire this guy. It's a copyright thing, right? Well, that was pretty though. All right, come on. Show us the console. I bet it's gonna be a big rectangular object. Indies, Indies. Super Brothers. Wait, didn't they do that one mobile game with the deer and the thing? Right, let me see, Super Brothers. Sword and, what was it? Sword and Sorcery. That game was gorgeous. I haven't seen anything else from them, right? Yeah, that was the only thing they made. Sword and Sorcery EP. It was an incredibly awesome looking game. Uh, for fun. Oh, they did Below, but did that ever release? No, I don't think Below released yet. Below did release. I've never played it though. It looks gorgeous. Oh, dude, I gotta buy Below now. Put that on the Steam wish list. Jalen? I hope I said that right. I watch all your vids. Thank you so much, bud. Wakanda forever, guys. You got it right. Wakanda forever. Okay, that that was very atmospheric. Um, they're known for like their their soundtrack as well, so no surprise there. Oh, 
Oh, here we go. In development footage. Make way for the king of kings for a long stretch, no limousine. If you talk when it's gotta intervene, I'm the biggest one of those you ever seen. I'ma need a crown. I'm the only one that ever held it down at the tip top. People flip flop every day, not I can slash what is this? I don't know. Only wanna take big shots, big balls, big rings, big rocks, big bag, big moves, big cars, big man, big plan, get lost in this wall. Look at me now, you can't hold me down. So give me the give me the crown, make way for the king. Godlike armor. The soundtrack is so fun, and I bet you're not going to hear anything like that during the game. Godfall. Hack and slash your way to the top. Oh, this is going to release with the PS5? Hmm. What is it, just like a hack and slash multiplayer game? It looks fun. It reminds me of, uh, yeah, well, God of War-ish, um, Darksiders-ish. Ooh, hard student drift, uh, Hyper Light Drifter. I backed this on Kickstarter. This game was gorgeous in what? What is this? A sequel in 3D? This looks beautiful. I want this right now. You know what? I have a soundboard to annoy everyone with. Oh, dude, they went from 2D to 3D, and it looks just as... It has the same vibe as the 2D one. Okay, okay. Come on, let's see. Let's see something here. I like that speed. Ooh, trippy. Solar Ash. So it's just a new game. Looks pretty. That's what you can say for a lot of the teasers. It either looks interesting or it doesn't. Actually, Raid Shadow Legends did reach out to us. No, thank you. Is that 101 or LOL? Is that an LOL? It was always gonna end like this. Later, Castillo. Thank you for coming in, bud. Thank you for joining All us. your hard work. All your sacrifice. Only sped up the process. Okay, I'm gonna start judging these teasers and games with um, the soundboard, okay? I'm gonna give them a rating. yourself alone. Ooh, that looks good. Only death awaits. I'm going to give that one an applause. I like that one. Give it an applause. Hakan Abrak here from Ion Tractive. In Hitman 3, Agent Hitman. 47 is back for his most intimate and professional contract in his entire career. This is also the dramatic conclusion for the World of Assassination trilogy. I'm so proud to be here to present a little glimpse of the gameplay yes, where Kate Agent Molina 47 is, is on top of the world and I love her. in Dubai. Let her know. Enjoy. 
Ooh, do we have gameplay here? People come and go real crisp. People come and go. We're not a streamer either, so I would, I'm surprised we get more than five people on here. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much. This is like James Bond vibes. With silencers that never work, by the way. Well, that was weird. What was that? That was it? Enjoy? That? That was weird. But still, I'll give you a little applause for that one. That's what I give that one. See important health and safety warnings. What? Is this VR stuff? Okay, I'm gonna I'm ready to rate this next one. Press the PS button. Ooh, are we gonna see UI? No, we're not. Ooh, I wonder if this is a game that comes with every PlayStation 5. I'm a big proponent of having games that come with your consoles for free. To show off what your console can do. So if that's what this is, awesome. If not, well, this is, it looks weird. What are these? These are the people that live inside your controller? Video gaming fan, I don't know yet. Uh, I still have to wait until the end to give you an idea of what I think about this. I don't know that what, what that last game was. Little uh, teaser of what's to come. Here, uh, what are, I, I'm gonna give crickets to that one. That was a crickets because I didn't know what to make of it. Ooh, indie. What is this like a like who done it? Ooh, I like this. Underwater stuff just scares the crap out of me. This looks so cool. See, it's not all about graphics, it's about stylizing your graphics as well. What is this? So you're like a samurai, a hunter, I'm guessing? What? Like some kind of hunter? Adventurer? A butler? Is it a rich guy with a butler who just goes on adventures? Dongo. Oh. I like that transition. devil inside you know that's the thing about teases is like unless someone speaks right after it's just, it's just you have no idea what to expect i don't know if that game's actually good or if they just showed us the best parts of the game and that's it but you know what i'll give it an applause because i liked it what's up everyone i'm zion Williamson of the new orleans pelicans here we go the oh, first ever teaser AirPods. for nba 2k21 airpods y'all are not ready for this we're not we're not Never seen a sports game on the PS5. I ain't trying to bring you down, but for real, you might as well give up now. Think you got a chance, but I don't see how. Who has Better licensing for basketball games? Like, the is it EA as well? Whoever owns the place gotta drag me out. Okay. 2K, 2K.
2K21. 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 You know, you're not ready for this? That's what I'm not ready for? It's just like a little teaser, dude. Show us gameplay. I, I, gameplay is so crucial to all of this. And I don't even play sports games, I guess, so it doesn't matter. <gasps> Super Mario Galaxy? Oh, this doesn't look that good, guys. This does not look that good. What is this? Strawberry. Strawberry. Is he saying strawberry? Strawberry. Amazing. Aren't they? Genius. It's fruits. A very recently discovered species, entirely unique to this island. Oh, this one's lively. Beautiful sea Is that a, a hand puppet? Mm. Oh, and it's tasty too. I can't do it. I can't do it. Can I do the teeth? Welcome to the island of bug snakes. Bug snakes? Oh, it's the guys from Octodad. Octodad is hilarious. What is this though? Ribs? It's like food? Food creatures? Sir Dragon Moon, they don't show gameplay because it's always the same for sports games. You're right. Really, the only thing that sports games add is like new players, probably some kind of story and items and graphics, of course. This is so weird. I, I don't even know. My invitation is open. Come join me on the island of Bucks. <sighs> Liz! Liz, hi, um. I was trying to carry a lamp with my weenie hands, but I dropped it and uh Oh weenie on hands, fire. guys, get oh. it? Again? Bugs nuts. Bugs nuts. That's a weird one. It's just oh well, if it's from the guys from Octodad, it's literally supposed to be weird, so. Fun kind of family game, I'm guessing. That's a is that a an ice cream sundae worm? It's a hamburger guy. Oh crap. Okay. So I haven't seen anything that's like jaw dropping, like, oh yeah, like, um, it's good. I'm sure it's going to be like some fun releases on launch, but I want to see like epic, like fill Twitter with news of this game release. Come on, come on. Hi everyone. Thank you for being with us today for this very special event. But before we get to the end of the show, ah. I have something very near and dear to me. Okay, what is it? Come on. Come on! Ooh, is that a cult? Ooh, cloudy. Is this God of War? God of War. God of War. God of War. It has to be, right? Oh, wait. Is this Dark Souls? It is, is it? Probably got it more. It is, right? Demon's Soul? So it's okay. So Dark Soul is—is uh, is it a sequel to Demon Souls? 
So is that a remake? I don't know. I don't know enough about this. But it is... F wait, wait. I didn't read who it was from. So no, I don't know what's going on anymore. Desmond is a next-gen first-person shooter about rival assassins it. locked in a time loop. They just skipped this it. This is our unique vision. <sighs> what Arkane is I all about. I don't know enough about this stuff. Freeform immersive gameplay. A surreal player-driven story smashed together. Want to see some stylish action? Want Jenny to see some stylish action? Yes, sir. I do. Dude, I'm all about huge monsters and fighting them with stuff. Hello, Black Marie. Colt, my predecessor, has been pronounced guilty of treason. He is to be shot on sight and forth in perpetuity. Your assistance is appreciated and mandatory. The real party doesn't start until he's dead. What is this, multiplayer? Uh, she is not making this easy. Ah, oh, here we go. This actually does not look that good, guys. This looks like last gen. Is it last gen that last second went to new gen? Anymore. Good morning, Black Reef. Another day, another death. That looks pretty. I like the Our motion time graphics. Looks fun. For everyone else on this island, this place is paradise. A never-ending party. Man, Bethesda, you screwed it up so hard. I don't trust anything you guys make anymore. This and no looks matter okay. how I try I don't to know escape, what it is, they always cut me down. But I'm once done. If the console isn't shown, I'm circumcising, says Gerardo. <laughs> oh gosh, I hope they show it, dude. If not, that's a that's a YouTube video. Every loop I'm learning a little more, piecing together the puzzle. So that's two games There's a target. that have to do with like they rewind. all gotta die before midnight. There's just one little snag. You thought it was going to be easy? Juliana Blake. Black Reef's protector and a real pain so in So they my have ass. to show the console. Uh, I, I can almost guarantee times. you they're going to show the console at the end and they'll probably reveal the price. I will if they don't reveal the price, fucking that means they're going to reveal it later on in the year near release because they're still trying to make up their minds. But almost guaranteed they're gonna show us a 3D render of the console. What is this? It just looks so forgettable. Watching you die. I like killing you. There's a difference. Mm. Eh, I don't know. It seems okay. Okay, come on. Here's the console reveal. They're, they said it's towards the end of the show, so let's see. Biting my nails. You can't. You gotta stop. His story comes to a close. A young girl, a young I don't know girl who it is. The fairness for her father. It is hard work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. The bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free of Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine, under branch. I have no idea what this is. And into the forest again. 
You know what? what Last of Us creepy isn't in this at all. It's just a local tale. You're really into that stuff. What is this? Quit being so paranoid. Horror, right? Horror. Is this silent? No, no, no. Friendly. No. Friendly. Who are you? Who sent you? What are you? They're coming. Who is? Is this Resident Evil 8? No, it's not. Right? It's not. It has nothing to do with Resident Evil 8. I wish it did. What is this? It looks like it has like puzzles that you would see. No, it's a little too gothic. <gasps> it is! Is it RE8? Of course. Where's the, the plaga? Guys, I think this might be it. No, 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 no. That's pyramid. Was that like a pyramid head looking dude? Uh, I don't know. I can't make sense of this. There's too much random stuff. Here's the title. Title! What a letdown. Wait, wait, gosh. It is. It is. <laughs> Chris? I knew it. Sorry. I called it, right? Oh, my gosh. Why? I am incredibly psyched for this, and they psyched me out at the end. But don't tell anyone. Whoa. I am so hyped for this. I loved Seven. I loved Seven so much. I'm a coward, too. So, that's saying something. Yeah, that was a fake out, dude. They got me good. Oh, boy. Okay, yeah. They can end, they can end on that. <gasps> Kojima? Come on, dude. You gotta end with a Kojima title. Wait, 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 is this, um, this is a Kojima game, right? What is this? This has to be Kojima involved. Oh, you have an eyeball. Come on, that's Kojima right there. Oh, come on, this looks like his stuff. Like his style. <gasps> is it a new game? Oh my gosh. It is. It is. I know it is. I know it is. He loves like these suits and this kind of like weirdness to his stuff. If you can't make sense of it, it's Kojima. Show us the logo, show us the logo. See, it's just so random. If it if you're plunged into a middle of a crazy world and you can't make sense of it, come on, come on. Okay, uh huh, uh huh. Show us the studio. This is like a Japanese accent, right? There it is. Freedom, our freedom. I can't read it. Is that Capcom? So it's Capcom. I don't know what it is. I have no idea what that was. I can think of a few Capcom games that are weird, too. Hmm. I, don't know. I wish they had someone just talk about these games. All right, here's the console reveal. You ready? What if it's white, guys? What if it's a white console? I cannot take care of anything that's white.
So let's see. Oh, it's another game. God of War. Uh, what's that adventure one with the guy that's like Indiana Jones? He's a white guy and he goes in the Tomb Raiders things. The old ones. GTA 6. A thousand years ago. The old ones. Wait, 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 wait. They're great cities. Turned to graves. This is an RPG? RPG? In their place came new life. Uncharted, yeah, that's Uncharted. No, this is something else though. What is this? Okay, that's gross. The new dangers. Oh yeah, uh, Horizon. I forgot. I've never played the the first one. I have to. I have to. I must find a way to stop it. Or it get worse and worse. I'm sure this is going to be incredible. Without having played it. There's nothing I wouldn't do to save this world. No depth I won't explore. No secret I won't unlock. Ooh, I like her Bluetooth ear earbud thing. Relax, we're gonna see it, guys. We no have barrier. to see the console. It has cross. to end on the console. It has to. It's, I mean, they don't have that much time. This mission is mine alone. Release. If I falter, if I fail, there won't be anyone left to stop what's coming. Oh, I know that actor. It looks just like him, too. So that's good. That's a good crap. Okay, guys, uh, Horizon, what is it? I forgot, I forgot what it's called. Horizon Zero Dawn? Or? Forbidden West. I have to put it on the voice. But whatever comes. Oh, you know what? I need to check if pre-orders are going to go up today. If pre-orders go up for... If pre-orders go up for the PS5, I have to snag one. I don't know if I will. Oh, guys, placeholders are up. On behalf of the entire team at Guerrilla, we're happy to share the first oh, look guys. at Horizon yeah. Forbidden West. Guys, I think we we're have a price. I think it's going to be six hundred dollars euro. So what is that America. like? Over five hundred bucks? Beautiful, but dangerous That's frontier, over what? Masked with mysterious new over six hundred dollars. Get ready to explore distant lands ravaged by massive storms. And take on new yeah, powerful machines as you return to the majestic world. I think it's going to be over six hundred dollars. Stay tuned for much more. We can't wait for you to get your hands on it. Oof, over six hundred dollars. Gosh, that's a lot. I think um, placeholders are up on Amazon. If I can find one, I will link you guys to it. I think there's a lot to look forward to for the community. I think fans are going to be really pleased. Here we go, guys. As a game designer and storyteller, this is incredibly exciting. We're talking a whole new generation of ideas and experiences that we can create for the player. No matter where they are, no matter who they are. New experiences like we've never had before. More iconic, interesting characters. So it's more 599 pounds. World for players to explore. From what the leaks are showing. Players. I'm not sure if that's true or not. And I can't wait. We're going to find we out. Can't wait. We can't wait to share them with you. It's so exciting. Incredibly exciting. It's really about the players and Okay, here we go. Watch. This is going to show the console, right? Right? Welcome, Welcome to PlayStation 5. Okay, here comes the zoom out. Oh, okay, we're gonna go with that balls thing. And this is the atoms that make up the console. You see, guys, you gotta gotta think. You gotta use your heads. That's what they want us to do. It's gonna be a freaking rectangular box. If it looks just like the Xboxes, <gasps> ooh, does it have a triangular pattern, a geometric pattern? Guys, 
It's rectangular. It's, it's a rectangle. I can feel it. It's a friggin' rectangle. Oh, it's like a letter H? Okay, all right. It's gonna be black. It's gonna be black, it's gonna be thick. down the middle, right? Yeah, uh-huh. Whoa! I told you! I told you it was gonna be white. That looks pretty, dude. Wow, I like it. I like it, I think I like it. It's fabric-y, it's, it's got this kind of smoothness to it. They definitely focus on form factor way better than the one, the renders they had before. I like it! Let me know what you guys think. That's sexy. That's a... Guys, that's a sexy console. Wow. It looks very alienish, but by the way, that's sort of like always been the PlayStation thing. It has kind of this alien tech kind of vibe to it. I like it. I don't know how... Can you lay it flat? You must be able to, right? I like it. Ooh, textured in this interior. Yum, 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 yum. It looks like a leatherette. Listen, the Xbox has like just a box look to it. It's like a monolith. Wait, why are they showing two? What? There it is, guys. There it is. The digital edition and the PlayStation 5. How much you want to bet? Here's the price. Come on, come on, come on. It comes with a camera, it comes with a headset. Oh no, these are all accessories. And guess what we do, guys? We focus on accessories here. Price, price, price. We hope you've enjoyed the first glimpse of our future today. Gordon Ramsay. You've seen our most striking console design yet. And you've seen games that can only be enjoyed with the full range of PlayStation 5's features and power. At PlayStation, we believe in generational transitions, and we put years of work into making them happen. We want you to enjoy the unique benefits of moving from one generation to the next. Thank you for joining us. We're launching later this year, and we have tons more to share. Welcome to PlayStation 5. No price. It has to end with a price. If not, they're not going to give us a price right now, unless the, the pre-orders are up. What if they just show you the price in a single frame, like in between the gameplay? So it says like it flashes a thousand dollars right between these clips. <laughs> care about any of these features until you show me an affordable price, which it's not going to be. Come on, come on, come on.
checking to see if it goes live. No price. Oh boy. So because they didn't show the price, it means they they don't want to show the price. Yeah, I, I guess that the leak is probably going to be the most accurate thing. I'm guessing the 599 euro. So what is that? A little over $600 American. So that's it. That's all we got. Let's put on a Bioshock and let's talk it out, guys. Talk it out. So what do you guys think? Um, my thoughts. I think it's fine. <laughs> I wish we had uh, pricing or something, but since we don't, it sort of sucks. <sighs> okay, let me see what what they're saying online, because I feel like a, a price leak is, is imminent. It has to be going up on stores uh, as a pre-order page, even if it's not going to go live yet. But dude, it's just not a good sign when they hide the, the, the price. What was I doing here? I was killing some guy with a wrench, right? Oh boy. So what'd you guys think? Let me know. Looks looks nice, clean, and sleek. Yeah, it does, but my problem when something looks like that actually hold on, this is gonna try to play something else. Oh, sorry. Is it gonna try to play something else? I don't wanna play something else right now. Okay, one sec, hold on. Yeah, so I don't um like I said Every single time I've seen a console show a price, it's because they're proud of the price. They're proud of the way they're pricing it. I think because of how things are right now, they probably don't want you to know. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to kill that guy over here? So the console, I like the way it looks. I only say that because I want some kind of design to it. The Xbox One as a box looks great. It still looks like a monolithic kind of cool looking thing. But there's some design to this one, so at least you can differentiate them, right? If they were both rectangular boxes, I think it would look a little weird. And to be honest, if it wasn't for this channel, I probably would not be buying either of the new gen consoles from Sony or Microsoft, but um Oh wait, there's this guy here. Up, uh, up, uh, up, up, up. Okay, all right, that was a little loud. Let me know if it's loud, by the way. Okay, let me see. I don't see a game that calls for me, so I'll wait till a game truly calls me. That's actually, a, that's that's called restraint, which I think is uh, very important these days. If you don't see something you like, buying it early is not worth it, in my opinion. I feel like early adopters all often get screwed over. That's happened to me a few times. Most notably with, I think, what? Hmm. What? Not the GameCube. I think the GameCube. I actually like the games it launched with. Um, actually, you know what? The Switch only had Breath of the Wild, which is an incredible game. Don't get me wrong, but there's people who don't like it. If you didn't like Breath of the Wild or that kind of adventurous kind of gameplay... Um, the Switch was a tough few months to, you know, starting off. Let me see. I think it looks cool, and I'll get it next year, I hope. But I hate that it is white. Yeah, that's the thing about white. I, I love how it can... I, it has a cool appeal to it, but, like, it's it's bound to get dirty, and sometimes plastic doesn't do that well. Okay, wait, where am I going here? Is it is that a Big Daddy somewhere out here? Oh, is, it a, is there a big daddy out here somewhere? Come on, puppy. Where are you, puppy? Okay, let me see. The PS5 does look sleek, but I think the price does retail for 600 euro. Um, yeah, dude, I'm telling you, man, that price is going to be hard to swallow during these times. You know, when there's millions of unemployed, at least in the States here, it's very hard for them to drop half a G. Very, very hard. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh! Crazy girls, crazy girls. Okay, let me see. Oh, yeah, you know what? I 
I'm, I'm curious if they're going to release special editions in the first year. I feel like that happens towards the end of a console's life because then it just sells more units. And does the volume sound weird for you guys? It feels like it's repetitive, right? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I don't have anything. Got a whacker. Got a whacker. Got a whacker. Oh! Sorry, guys. I wish the console has colored customization. I'm, You know, I'm surprised they didn't have, like, a white and black version. Because I think PlayStation's always been black, and you associate that color with the brand. Let me see. When it's coming out? Actually, you know what? Yeah, they, they didn't have an exact release date, but it is holiday this year. So we'll see what what that means. I'm not sure if it's going to be actually like on Christmas or dis early December, late December. Must be probably November, wouldn't it? Because then people can save up for it for the holidays. So. Oh, yeah, that is another thing, too, is that if someone is looking to buy a console this year, and you have to compare the something to the PS5, like let's say it's 600 euro, like let's say over $600. It's a hard buy for a parent when the Switch is, what is it now? 300, right? Like 300 for the original Switch. I really don't know how they're going to do with that. I feel like the Switch has had really amazing, um, amazing holiday seasons. Like at least when it comes to sales. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Gosh, I'm so lost in this game. I'm not thinking at all. They did not reveal the... Did they? No, I don't think they... No, no, they didn't reveal the price for the... Um, for the Xbox. Oh, a G is a grand. So half a G, 500, over 500 bucks. Have they revealed the price? I don't know. Is it, it's white and black? Yeah, it is white and black, I guess, too. So that's another thing. Don't forget around one or two games, which will be... Oh, yeah, you know what? You're completely right. Um, When they said that GTA is coming... With, well, not the new GTA. It's just um, GTA 5, right, I believe? If GTA is coming with the PlayStation, that means that they are taking into consideration the fact that some people will barely be able to afford the console, and to throw in a game actually helps them with uh, that early adoption, right? I know that, like, oh, dude, I mean, you're talking about, like, what, seven to $800 if you want to buy some games with it? That's pretty intense. That's also probably why I never <laughs> bought a, a PlayStation or Xbox, at least uh, the launch prices are just crazy. Plus, if a lot of these games are PS4 compatible, you really don't have a lot of reasons to, to buy into it, right? Okay, what am I doing here, guys? I'm a little lost here. Okay, let's see. Hold on. I should probably just think about what I'm doing in this game for a little bit. Oh, gosh. This map is so confusing. That did not help at all. I completely forgot what I'm supposed to do here. Am I going, what, in here? Yeah. Uh, no, in here? No. In here? No. It wants me to go downstairs, right? Oh, hold on. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to read chat and do this at the same time, and I don't think it works. What was the point here? Okay. Can we transfer all games to the PS5? Um, I think some of the games you own should be compatible with the PS5. I don't want to... No guarantee on that end. I don't want to be on the record with that. Oh, gosh. I'm following the arrowhead, and it led me to nothing. Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I don't know how I feel about the PlayStation. I know I have to get it because I want to make content about it. But, um, oh, my gosh, dude. I got I to gotta save a lot of money. I got to stop eating for a few. Uh, maybe, maybe if I skip a meal every day, I might have get halfway there. Oh, wait, do I shock this thing? Yeah, I figured it out, guys. Um, and I'm about to die, too, so I don't know what that was about. Okay, let me just get through one part here. Okay, there we go. I got first aid. Oh, I drank. I'm a little drunk here. 
not, you know, we'll end the game. Infamous is a good series, and I'm really hoping for that new game from Sucker Punch. Yeah, there's. I feel like there's going to be a lot of games that people wish they mentioned, and they didn't really talk about any games. That's why I think E3 was such an incredible platform to announce a new console on, because there was this excitement behind it. There was like this just this this energy behind it, and just playing a video live on YouTube or you know a live stream doesn't have that impact that I think people need. So I don't know. I, I feel like that's a whole other thing they're combating, uh, combating with. Oh, God. Someone someone help me out here. What am I supposed to do? Do I have like a, a flame power thing? I forgot. A plasmid or whatever it is. I can't remember. Okay, hold on. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's try everything out. No, I don't. No, I don't. Dang it. What a war. Now this has become a oh, watch me struggle to play Bioshock stream. Ugh. I'm going to have to do this when I'm actually thinking, which I'm not right now. Anyways, guys. Gaze. I just called you guys gaze. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean that. Guys, <laughs> thank you so much for hanging out with us. This was a fun, what, that was like two hours? But, um, yeah, guys, thank you for your time. I hope you guys are excited what we have, uh, about what we have coming up next. Uh, we are going to be doing a Switch Lite 5 favorite video. We're going to do a budget series following up. I think we're going to probably do something funny because we have a new kid. We have three kids now, so we want to do like a, a funny diaper bag video, like what's in our bag kind of thing. Because, of course, there's a Nintendo Switch in there, in both bags. Um, and we have a few more things lined up. So we're going to do also, um, like I said, YouTube memberships. That's going to come up once I can figure out what's worth the money, right? So once I figure that out, we'll do something fun with that. If you guys join, you'll have access to the Discord. And we're going to do, I think, weekly, I'm not sure what day, weekly live streams. And probably do some multiplayer with you guys. It'll be fun. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, I have to go. It's been a while. So i got to work on that video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you for the next box. Even though we didn't see a box right now. It's a little weird. But you get what I'm saying. Thanks, guys.